Hello, I'm going to be trying something a little new here today. I'm going to be trying to read comments and reply to them. Uh, I thought about doing this because I recently changed the YouTube account into a private account um, into a brand account because we are trying to start our own company with OmniPath Studios production. Now, okay, uh, starting with this guy here, most recent comment, again, cannot wait for this and love the design of the game it looks cool of course I've already replied to this one but I'm gonna reply again because here's my initial reply and all I'm gonna say is thank you this is the demo the demo is only one that's gonna be using um, RBG Maker we will be using Unity for the full visual novelty simulator. That's uh, that's when we'll have the character sprites that I've been showing on there for the dating simulator for RWY. And um, there will be more event scenes and little small cutscenes, um, animation cutscenes, most likely 2D. And they won't be for very very long, and they'll only be more like a title sequence. If I can manage it, I would do, um, I will do some event scenes like that too, but that's if I can manage it, because it, 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 this is a free project, it's really expensive, so there you go. Um, I'm digging the design so far, thank you. Sweet, looking forward to it, this is my initial reply. I'm going to try to get to everybody here if I miss if I do miss a comment please let me know and I'll try to get back to it um, I'm gonna do this every so often and then it won't be a continuous thing after we get to a certain amount of subscribers but every so often it's gonna hurt no one looking like it, okay looks good like a good game rip high school DxD game uh -huh. the high school DxD game uh, sorry about that. The high school DXT game is on pause. I gotta turn off my notifications. That is annoying. My, uh, yeah, the high school DXT game that we're working on is a fan. Uh, it's not a fan project so much that it is a. Huh, what was the best way to put this? We have two different types of fan projects. We have a fan uh, fan project where it's going to be free and we make no money off it. And, of course, we have to put down a disclaimer about that. That's like the Ruby one. Um, the High School DxD game is actually going to be sold, but none of the money will come to us. It will go to the copyright owners. But we first have to establish ourselves as a company, and that's what we're trying to do now. The game will be put on it its own gaming platform, um, or rather our own gaming platform, Anti-Gate. It's going to be the name of the uh, game platform. This is a direct um, reference to Gamergate because of Sony and Xbox having overly strict censoring on PlayStation and Xbox. Um, I mean, they're really... Uh, Rated M games are becoming like rated T games. Rated T games are basically becoming like rated E games. It's not cool. Censoring is not cool. And they should be ashamed of themselves. Um, but we have not given up on the RB, uh, on that game quite yet. And I don't think we're ever going to give up on it. Because it's a big passion project. Now, there were replies here. That when he's talking about the beta. Because I do have a link for the beta of the high school DxD game and the link is below every video that's new here on forth I decided to do it that way because you know what hmm, why not um, anyone that gets curious whether or not you can get a hold of the new betas when we start working on the game again even though they won't have our new gaming platform um, the betas and demos will still be on PC and possibly Mac. However, when the game's fully released and finished, it will be only on Anti-Gate. We will 
set up a system where people can get the game at a decent price where they can do payments like a layaway system or um, we will even have giveaways now we can't promise the like mass giveaways because that's just unrealistic but what we can do is try to minimize the cost as much as possible and this is only because we had to establish ourselves as a company and I don't want to censor the game more than I have to I want to go as far as the anime goes and it's a very itchy anime so it's going to be a very itchy game um, it will be a rated MA which means you will have to have ID uh, uh, you'll, the, uh, the system will come with its own uh, camera, a 4K camera you will take an ID picture of your face next to it and it will scan it determining if you are 18 years or um, 18 years of age or older and you will be able to get the game on the online store now that's only for the online store if you want to get the game anywhere else like GameStop you can go ahead and as long as your parents say yes it's up to your parents but I'll dig I digress that's just how we're gonna work that also, I want to know how t I got the right for the DXC game. What? Let me read that again. How I got the you mean the rights? I'm a little confused about that. Uh, I know I replied. Yeah, this is my reply. And I think I was replying to another email, and he came in with that just as I was sending that one in. Um, that's why it's not matching up right. Visual novel doing similar. Yeah, yeah, it's, it has to be that way because sometimes I'll reply twice because I'm trying to make sure I get my point across. And okay, I'll I will down. I will download the XD game and said went through. Um, I, th I thought it was canceled. Okay, well, to answer about the rights, you pretty much have to get a hold of the company and get the license for it. And the only thing um, they're requiring me to do is, by their uh, by their own words, by principle, they couldn't let us do it because we're not a company. Well, that's going to have to change, and that is changing. Um, Idea Pros is going to help us out with that becoming a company and I, I'm not gonna read my own comments so pause the screen if you want to read the my replies and sorry if I sound raspy I got bronchitis right now so I get it every year it's it's a pain at least I'm not coughing usually when I get it I'm hacking like up a lung Okay, I tried to complete a sensor, but not really turn to see the faces left out loud, no problem. Okay, yeah, to be clear, when it comes to the high school the exit game, when we continue forward, the characters are going to look a little off at first. We're going to fix them up. There is a way to turn off the censoring. I believe all you have to do is hit X, and it will turn off the censoring for the game. But the character models themselves do need to be fixed as a whole and this is due to the limitations we were currently having while starting off the game. Games usually start off like that. The characters models they don't look all that great at first but then as the game progressed the character models become more and more fluent and more and more um, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Okay Actions also I'll give you a shot a uh, shout out on DXT's subreddit. Well, thank you very much. I'm not a big fan of Reddit. I do use it for the uh, Ruby Amino, or not, not Ruby Amino, uh, the Ruby Reddit, just to uh, pretty much get the Ruby game out there that I'm working on. But in all, I don't really like Reddit. You gotta wait six hours before you do another post, uh, even with comments, which is ridiculous. And it just, it's, I'm not a big fan of Reddit. It just seems like a, 
I, it's just not a site I like. But then again, I also don't like Discord. But I've had issues with those. That's why. Okay. Looks cool. Maybe there should be an Easter egg where you can be a certain name and a character will respond in a certain way. Now this is going off the Ruby game. Now I am planning to put Easter eggs in there. Uh, when I get into making the full game, not the RBG Maker uh, part, the demo, which the full game is actually going to be made with Unity. Now, whether or not I make Easter eggs like that, that would be fun, to be honest. Like, oh, well, let's name the character Adam, for instance. And you got Blake freaking out, like, oh no, what? what? Adam, what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> um, that would be somewhat interesting. Or, um, because Monty Ohm was the one that created the game, a little reference if you were named the character Monty. Um, I, I would love to do something like that, but I don't know if I, um, I really sh shouldn't deviate too much with the cost. The game would be free, and there's going to be additional routes, of course, different, uh, that means different endings, and there's a lot I'm putting in there. I mean, the game itself, by my estimate, it's going to cost me around 30000 out of pocket and no return. I mean, I'm going to pay around $30,000 plus, and this is not, uh, this should be counting even the voice acting. And I do say plus because that's a, it could be higher. And I will not be getting anything back in return. This will be free for everybody on Game Show, uh, Jolt, Ruby Amino, um, YouTube, wherever I have the links. But those are the where I'm planning on putting it. That, that means that you can even probably get it on the Ruby Reddit if I um, decide to post it on there, the link. But anybody who's trying to sell it is doing fraud, and you should report them because this game is meant to be free. I do have it where you can support um, the channel by either sharing the music that I have on there, on here, I do actually have the cap rates towards. Um, you can buy it, which will only cost a dollar, or you can do a one-time donation with Streamlabs. Uh, because someone in Reddit said that you should um, do Streamlabs, you should do Patreon, trying to correct me, and I corrected them, stating that uh, no, Patreon is not worth it. I've had issues with Patreon trying to do the High School DxD game. I know it's just not. Plus, you can't do Patreon if you if you're thinking um, if you're trying if you're thinking for like say the Ruby game, I can't do anything when it comes to crowdfunding. And Patreon is a crowdfunder. Yes, Streamlabs would be too, but the loophole here is Streamlabs is actually not for the game itself. It's for the channel, and there are other games we will be working on. We're planning on making our own music. We're planning to make our own animation. I have my own novel. I'm trying to turn it into a game as well. And I'm going to be releasing. And I'm trying to get um, some bigger voice actors to be a part of it. Because if it's popular enough, I'm going to have it animated. But I digress. It looks promising enough. Thank you very much. And um, go for it. You can do it. <laughs> See, uh, this right here, this was a reply, a, because I did, what happens, I switched the account into a brand account. When I did that, all my original comments are gone. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, I'm going to have to stop this, send this video up, and then start recording again in just a second here. But yeah, I wanted to get that across why I'm doing it this way. Okay, we're on the next comment here. This is a really cool song on its own. Well, thank you very much. I made the song uh, Be a Hero for Hero Hey as a support. Um, he's welcome at any time to um, pretty much turn around because I gave him the copyrights. 
he's welcome at any time to, uh, to turn around and go to TuneCore or whatever he wants to uh, sell the music on. You can either sell it on tu using TuneCore, which will put it on i um, it will put it on the iTunes, the Google Play Store, and etc. And also giving you two royalties. I mean, the purpose of the song is to support his channel in case he ever goes through a situation where he got demonetized because of some bull reason. Um, looks like I got a comment on Reddit. It's like, okay, where do I get the game and, uh, and play it? Okay, um, I just saw that come up for Reddit. Again, you can get the uh, RPG Maker game, uh, the demo, for the Visual Nova Ding Simulator on Game Jolt. You can get it under um, or any YouTube video after the game is the demo is finished, and the same thing with the Visual Novel under the YouTube any YouTube video after it's finished, or my profile on the Google of uh, the Amino I have for that specific game project. Um, in this case, Ruby Amino, and there's two Ruby Aminos that I'm on. The big one. And the second, um, the one with all the hearts. Hang on, let's view this. Forward to it. Thank you very much. Yeah, because a lot of these I have already replied to, but the comments have been removed because I went and created a brand account. But I digress. Oh, that voice, such a powerful, a powerhouse. Also, I love ha having. Sounds with guitar. This is a no pop song. Well, yeah, this song here, "Be a Hero," is considered a new type of music that I have actually invented myself. It's called eccentric metal, which means odd or different. That's the meaning of eccentric. But a lot of good people, of uh, really famous people, were eccentric. Like Albert Einstein was eccentric. Uh, Beethoven was eccentric, for example. So it's not. I diss on my own music. It's just a new genre, stating it's odd and different in a good in a good way. Um, not bad. Keep up the good work. This is the um, guitar solo on the next song. Hopefully, Vicniana will sing in the duet. We'll see whether or not he does. I'll wait until after I finish the instrumental to contact him again. I'm thinking I might actually set up if he does. I, I might set it up for share royalties um, to be a bit more fair because I doubt, I mean, it cost me $300 uh, for my uh, singer on Fiverr, but I doubt he'll be the same price. I think he might cost a bit more. It's not that I'm saying they can't afford it. I'm saying I want to be able to keep him on board because there are other projects I want him to work on with, including Top Hatcorn. This is more going up front with my novel series that I want to turn into an anime, so we'll, we'll get back to that later. It's Marlali. Hey, cat girl, this is my, um, this is my payback to Hero Hey <laughs> for calling the shot, for saying the Sharon Gun was a, um, well, it was a uh, crap, uh, in his words, a shit ability. Uh, <laughs> So, how dare you, Hero Hey? I dubbed you. Now you've been turned into a lolly. A cat girl lolly. Now, now this is also a joke with the live stream because someone made the comment saying, uh, pat my head, um, uh, Vic, um, for when he was going to that con where Vic was going to. And now, um, he, he was joking, saying, oh, I'm not, I ain't no lolly. Uh, that's like, that's some lolly shit. I ain't no lolly. And... I don't want him to pat my head. It's weird. Uh, fan, uh, I can see fan art now coming up with it, which um, I had a friend make some fan art, and I turned around and had a little video just to mess with Hero Hey about that. I know he's going to look at this thing. This is weird. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> and that's exactly what I want. This is just me being uh, just messing around. It feels wrong to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> this that's okay. Well, job well done. <laughs> Can you do another? Now this is the um, a test round for the Ruby 
ASMR video. And yes, I will be doing four others for Ruby. The next one is a haircut one. It'll be longer. And it won't mention like anything for specific uh, gender or um, person in general. You just it, it, so you could feel the role play that it's you going in there, getting your haircut, and Ruby talking. And then the whole pr um, premise of the next one will be pretty much like Ruby's doing a part-time job since so she can have more money for her weapon with the upgrade Crescent Rose. That's the idea. Now, there will be a Yandere Ruby one, which is going to be fun. There will be a, um, well, let's just say there's going to be a grand total of four, and the, uh, well, the last two are going to be a surprise. I digress. Let me get to this comment here. When I checked out this, I was skeptical as to how good it was going to be. I was not disappointed. Keep up, keep it up. In other words, yeah, it was better than they thought it was going to be. Well, I appreciate it. Kill me. <laughs> Someone role playing as Ruby on YouTube going. Just, <laughs> uh, no, no, Ruby's best girl, I'll never do that, just no. <laughs> um, hmm. Gladly. I feel like that was a reply. I can't reply, um, no. There's no other message on here about that. This is about that duet. Uh, guitar instrumental. Huh. I I can't I can't reply to that because I don't know what what I was replying to begin with. He looks like he was replying to me. Oh, godly. Oh, wow, I need a thank. Wow, godly. Well, thank you. That's all I gotta say. Wow, uh, me and my reading skills. <sighs> okay, you got to take away the sensor in the game. Um, you're talking. I know you're talking about the. Yes, you're talking about the high school DXD game, the beta that's in the link. Yeah, I believe all you have to do is press X and it removes the censoring. So yeah, there is no sensor. Uh, the sensor in the game is just for those who want to record it on YouTube. Um, that's the whole point of the censoring. Because when, when the game's release, they will have a censor mode, and those are for people that want to do their own Let's Plays or live streams of the game. Because YouTube's not going to let you have an etchy game out there on their cha on your, yeah, on the, the, the website. That's I'm done with this, I'm going to get a cop drop. I'm already nine minutes in, wow. Um, it's more than that. I, I had to combine two videos together. Look forward to the full song. That would be amazing if he, you actually got Vic to do it with you. Hey, he seems interested. That's all I'll say. He, he likes the music. He, seem, he seems like he, he thinks it's interesting. Um, those are the replies I got back from him. So, who knows? Uh, I'm definitely will, I'm going to be paying him if he does. And it, I'll be willing to even sh share royalties with it. Um... Uh, Okay. Oh, Vic is such a nice guy. He uh, responded. Yes. Um, in the video, it does show screenshots of Vic responding to my email to him about doing the duet. And it was really cool because he responded literally night. Uh, it was in the day after. He responded at 11 o'clock in the morning. I sent him the email at 1 a.m. in the morning. So I got to say that was amazing. Okay, just to see that. You won't expect a reply that quick. It just says, dude, good luck. Well, thank you. I, 
I feel I can't remember what I originally responded to you. I imagine you referred to what I just said before. Um, I talked to him on Amino as well. Ruby Amino. Love this. So I'm glad you do. I hope you like all, um, I really hope you like any of the other songs I'm making and really digging the sound. Thank you very much. Um, one got Waylon in there. The next song, the next one I'm, uh, song I'm making that's based off Ruby and Crow is a, uh, of course it's a duet, but the music itself, if you really listen to the guitar lyrics, is based off of Ozzy and, um, Avenged Sevenfold styles. I mix the styles together to make a more unique style. There will be other instrumental in there. A whole lot. I mean, I'm going all out for that song. I like the song and greetings from Fizzing Hero Hayes channel. Well, thank you and greetings. I'm glad you came and checked it out. No worries. Okay, I, I definitely replied to this guy. I just can't remember what I replied to him about. So I'm just going to read the comments that he um, sent me. Because again, I ch switched the, can the channel into a brand account. And this unfortunately erased all my former comments. I might not get all the comments down. I might have to make a second video. I don't want the video to be too long. No worries. I cannot wait. I wouldn't mind having you work on some music regarding some uh, soundtracks for my future video game. <laughs> We're both working on video games. I find that cool. Um, yes, yeah, this guy's replying back to me. Maybe I can start a GoFundMe for my future fans to donate to, in which, uh, yeah, I did remember replying to you about that, explaining that um, you can do GoFundMe, Kickstarter, all all these other things, but uh, it it's very expensive in a way too because you need to have that traffic to us there. Uh, if you have a good supply of YouTubers, uh, subscribers on your channel, and uh, or um, Twitter followers, even though Twitter's, uh, even Tumblr, as long as you have a, uh, a massive following, you can get that. Uh, backing pretty easily, but if you don't have much for following like me, I failed. I would say I failed both Kickstarter and Go Go twice, and it, it's because I just I'm not well known enough. If I had maybe 2,000 or even no better yet 10,000 subscribers, I probably most likely would have succeeded at what I was trying to do for uh, the Indiegogo and Kickstarter projects. Uh, but I digress. It's, uh, my failure is my lesson, and my lessons pass on to you. Um, but I, I was also giving him clues on how he can get some free developers and cheap developers, and where he can find other developers to help him out. Because I do hire developers off of Fiverr. Okay. Um, that's, uh, sorry if I didn't read it here. I just. Also, any of those follow, um, follows of female developers be female with go dot engine. Okay, let me read up here. I want to see what I. I'm trying to remember what. I, yeah, I did. Uh, I think I mentioned that I I do have. I'm not sure if I mentioned that I had some three um, female developers, which I do. Um, they're really good at their job, too. Um, hmm. Go.engine. I think my reply was, I'm not certain about the Go.engine. I'm I'm not really uh, associated with Go. I, I probably said more on the lines that um, most likely they can work with it. They do work with Unreal Engine. They do work with Unity. Um, so I would say most likely, even Blender they've worked with, and they're precision, they're really good with all three, and they are difficult to use. So I would say most likely. Products would love to not, or you mean would you love to work with you? Okay. Products would love 
do not, or you mean, you love the word, I really wish it didn't delete my uh, old comment, uh, my replies to this, because it would make more sense to me. Um, guy, if you see this video, and you remember what I commented back to you, please put it under a comment below this video here. Okay, I'm going to end the video here, because it's already getting long. I'll make another comment video in a couple of days. You can support the channel by Streamlabs, or you can also support us by either buying or spreading, uh, putting the sh uh, sharing our music on our channel around, or any of our videos really will help us out greatly. Much appreciated. And um, yeah, that's it. Well, thank you very much. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know what you think about our projects and what you have in mind.